Hey, it's the Terminian Hero here, and as you see, I've filled in the this section of the map. And now we're gonna continue through another Metroid 2 remake. We're done with the Golden Temple, aside from that one power-up that we don't know how to get. But we'll get it at some point. Maybe you know how to get it, I don't. But I'll figure it out. I assume it has something to do with that weird machine we saw in the temple, but... Anyways, let's see what's down here. Another save station, which is nice. And... Another one of these Metroid cocoons. Are we not getting our logbook updated with whatever this area is? Are we seriously not? Okay. We probably will in the next screen. Yeah, here we go. Breeding Grounds. This area spans a custom-built ecosystem that favors the growth of Metroids. The terrain itself is dangerous. Tendrils growing along the ground release extremely corrosive chemicals. Opportunistic predators and scavengers can recognize this as an ideal feeding ground, taking advantage of injured or dead animals. The presence of at least one Metroid is expected when venturing in these habitats. The tendrils are determined to be of yeah, the tendrils are determined to be of artificial origin, synthesized through technologically advanced methods. They absorb nutrients from dead matter. I assume that's all that was in the logbook. We don't seem to be missing anything. No, we're not. Okay, good. Because I don't want to be reading a big wall of text right now. And we've got a second Metroid cocoon here. So we know we're about to face at least two Metroids. And we're looking for three. And... Here's the first one. Sometimes it seems good to actually stand in those dangerous tendrils just to get a good angle to shoot the Metroid from. Like, it seems weird that damaging yourself could actually be a good strategy, but it works surprisingly well in some cases. And there's our last Metroid Cocoon, so we will be getting our last two Metroids for this area right around here. Wrong buttons! I'm kinda low on health. I'm- I'm gonna die. I'm actually gonna die. I'm dead. Oh boy. Game over, screen. Is that supposed to be like a Metroid? It looks like I see like the three nuclei from a Metroid in there. Yeah. 
Well, that didn't go too well. <laughs> a lot of times it's a good idea to go back and save when you're in one of these Metroid nests. Just because you're probably going to need to heal a lot and maybe replenish your missiles. Which save stations thankfully do in this game. Let's just open that again so that it says that we read it. <laughs> and let's hope this goes better. I'd say that went pretty well. Let's hope the other Metroids go that well too. Yes, this is going much better than last time. I'm gonna be able to get the third one, no problem. So yeah, these are Metroids that we're facing. They're specifically known as Alpha Metroids. This one is being a bit more of a jerk. Wow. We might have to run away from this one. We are definitely gonna have to run away from this one. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go back and save. <laughs> yeah. That one was a lot more of a pain than I thought it would be. Get all that health and missiles back. And let's just go this way. <laughs> Yeah, see, that was one of those cases where it's really helpful to just stand in the thorns down there. So now we got all the Metroids we need, and there's another earthquake, which is lowering the lava level once again so we can progress. Why defeating these Metroids lowers the lava level? Who knows? It's a video game. I hate using that as a reason for something to happen, but I mean, that's really what it is. <laughs> so, yeah, let's head on back. What is this? Looks like a boss, Ancient Guardian. This sentry deploys spiked barriers and corners targets into its firing range. Its archaic design con 
constrains it to operate on at low power, preventing simultaneous use of its shield and mobility systems. Its arsenal consists of energy weapons with unique patterns. The robot was calibrated to detect foreign creatures bearing stolen equipment. Recent earthquakes seem to have damaged the attraction of the unit and spiked barriers. Despite these com complications, it remains a, it remains a considerable threat. Let's make sure my fingers are on the right buttons, and let's fight this thing. Oh gosh. Guess you gotta look at his eye color to see what move he's gonna use. What okay, I haven't seen that one yet. Ah. Uh. Looks like the walls are closing in. And this is actually pretty simple once you know how to do it, and you're aware of the moves. I'm still not used to that green one apparently, but now I am. And now we are in a very tight space, but no problem. I don't think the walls can actually go to the point where they crush you. I think they just close the further you are into the fight. Um, that's, there we go. Is it possible to get up there? I don't think so, but it makes sense if you could. So I'm gonna try it. Aha! What is this? Oh! That- ah. Let's try that again. <laughs> Let's just- Oh. That complicates things. I had a feeling that would happen. Uh. Huh. There we go. We've got another missile tank, and looks like we need power bombs here. Are you kidding me? Thing is, I know where and when we get power bombs, and that is forever from now. So that is ridiculous. Um, I kind of want to go back and check out the Golden Temple again to see if beating that boss actually lets us do anything different. It helps us get that item. I don't think it will, but I want to check it out. Because I really hate leaving that item behind, although... Although, you know what, I don't think it changed anything, and we're gonna have to come back here when we have power bombs anyway, so I'm just gonna move on.
This black is suspicious. Okay. Nothing there. As we see, the lava lowered again. And we're gonna be going down below here next time. I'm just gonna head over to the nearest save station. And I'm probably gonna map out the landing site between episodes. Actually... I don't have to backtrack that much more past the save station to get there, so... And if you don't want to see that, you can just move on to the next video anyways, so... I might as well just do all the backtracking now on the video. But when I come back in the next video, I'm gonna start the video at that little lava hole there. I'm definitely not gonna map out the whole landing site now, because I don't even think I can. But I at least want to see if there's anything important there. And I want to map out a decent chunk of it, just like the walls and stuff. Just to make sure I didn't miss anything, and also... Kinda want to show the place that we can't actually go to yet. I want to see what barrier is actually in place that prevents us from going there. Is there anything up here? Anything at all? There. I thought there was going to be a tunnel there, but I guess not. There's a whole lot of nothing. Let's try going up the left side. should be right over here. Yeah, this weird stuff. We can't get through that. And we're not gonna be able to for a very long time, but I just kinda wanted to show that that was there. So, uh... Yeah, I'm, I think I'm just going to end the video here, and I'll meet you back at that little magma room there in the next video. So, I'm the Terminian Hero, and I will see you then.